I want to ask the cast this. You were asked to say a lot of horrifying things on this show. <laughs> was there anything uh, that, that you particularly thought was terrifying to have to say? And we'll start with, uh, with Amber down at the end and work our way towards me. Uh, no, I'm actually usually wanting it to be more horrifying. Um, I, I am so excited when I read the script and it has terrible things for me to say on it. Um, and my mom thinks it's awesome. <laughs> I guess um, I had to say jeez uh, out, which is something that my relatives in Ohio say a lot, and that was horrifying to me because I felt like I was making fun of them, but <laughs> I kind of was, so... <laughs> I don't think anything I have to say is horrifying. I think it's, uh, it's usually sweet <laughs> from a good place. Because I'm a super nice guy. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> That leaves me. <laughs> I I was pretty offended by the really long anti-Semitic rant that Adam wrote for the first episode that was fortunately cut out. Uh, <laughs> and I had a hard time saying the, 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 all that stuff, but uh, I did it as a favor. <laughs> uh, you missed it. It was after the. Uh, Hitler mentioned, and then uh, there was a whole long thing, and uh, it was like, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was a good portion of my cum. That was, uh, I don't know, it was topical because of the banking crisis. <laughs> Adam, uh, this is this first episode is uh, sort of a three-parter stretched over over three weeks. Um, is this essentially Archer the movie, or is it going to be three different stories? No, it's a uh, it's uh, it's a, a, a self-contained three-episode thing where he uh, does go on to be a pirate king. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real spoiler because he said he's going to do it, and then he does do it, but. This is kind of a spoiler. It doesn't quite work out as great as he thought it was going to be. <laughs> and uh, how did you get some of the uh, guest voices you had in this episode? Because there were a couple of very obvious ones, at least to me. Uh, Patrick Warburton. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, he's, he's sort of an icon and, and coming up through uh, Adult Swim. And he's such a, uh, a, a well-known star there in all those cartoons. And of course, uh, The Tick and all the sh you know, all the shows. And then uh, David Cross, I just kept bugging John until he said he would ask David if he would do it. And then... Uh, he said no. And he said no, like... I don't know how that worked out. Several up. times. Did I ask? I did. We might have asked on behalf of you. <laughs> He would have done it. <laughs> he barely did it. But he's in, he's in all three episodes, and uh, he doesn't die. So hopefully um, he'll come back. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> he, he dies. Oh. <laughs> um, we're we're, we're going to throw to you guys real soon here, so you might want to start lining up or whatever it is you do nowadays. Uh, what, what else can we expect in season three? Uh, Anyone who wants to answer and won't get killed by Adam for one. I have no idea, Adam. You're going to have to answer that question. I don't, I don't know. Just uh, bigger and better adventures. Uh, hopefully some outer space. Uh, yes. Morocco has been bandied about repeatedly. Uh, we're trying to <laughs> get from our to North Africa. <laughs> Uh, we're dealing with their, you know, Chamber of Commerce and Tourism Board so that we can record and just record the voices in Morocco. I'm going to have the episode on the space. It's a Middle Earth thing. Middle Earth. Um, yes. So I, I think just as uh, almost as good as season two is what we're shooting for. All right, let's see. Let's turn to you guys out there, and uh, I don't know where you are, so That's it? That's all you had to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> barely did anything. <laughs> doesn't even know that I'm ignoring you. <laughs> Talking about that. Go ahead. <laughs> 
So last year when we were across the street, I asked you guys a very important question about Core Island. <laughs> Are we going to learn more about Core Island this year? Or is that <laughs> Pirates Island? Yeah. Uh, Core Island is actually Amelia Island, Florida. <laughs> Which is a, go for spring break. It's a great place. Uh, it's just heavily populated with wars. <laughs> Fantastic. Keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> it's like a four sun valley. <laughs> it's, it's a, Amelia Island is actually fantastic, and as far as I know, there are no wars there. Listen to you. Hey guys, um, really big camera show. I, I have a Um, the really season two not so good though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. It's not as good. It is nice that it's not as good. We did what we could. Yeah, we, we, we started drinking, you know, we made like, we all made five bucks and spent it on booze. We don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the show has a really old classic, like James Bond retro look, but yet it's contemporary. How do you guys feel that, of, like, seeing that kind of retro feel in the show, like, or what's the reason behind that, even though it's like, very, it's a contemporary show? We couldn't afford to draw modern clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all from thrift stores, so it's like, a lot cheaper to get older clothes. I think, I think the design, uh, it was an intentional thing to, to pick the, the most appealing thing stylistically from fashion to cars to interior design, and then just for ease of writing, have them have it's computers cool. and cell phones and satellites so that they can communicate with each other and not have to write each other, you know, notes and use typewriters. So, laziness. <laughs> cheapness. <laughs> I gotta stop eating these social kisses. <laughs> Often <laughs> enough. <laughs> Okay, cool. Right. <laughs> I don't know how, uh, how does it go? I mean, it's just... It just oh, sounds... Like it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm gonna fuck it up. Oh, <laughs>
about rules of engagement, so move to Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> it's not stalling at all. Everybody loves Saturday night. It's a great night for television. <laughs> um, Saturdays on CBS. <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, was in regards to uh, Jerry Lewis. Uh, we will need you to substantiate that Jerry Lewis reportedly spending several hours under anesthesia backstage during each telethon, including the reference to him taking propofol. <laughs> 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 